I just ate corn nuts and cinnamon bears for breakfast on our way over here. <laughs> we stopped off at the grocery store and <laughs> we each picked out a muffin and some orange juice. And then as we were walking out, I was like, oh, look, there's corn nuts. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like a college student all over again. Hmm, I think I'll have this and this. I don't know if there's any nutritional value in either one of them, but they were good. <laughs> all right, on to the general store. All right, so what do you guys think? I think it looks really good. I'm so excited. I can't wait to spend all day aging it. But there it is. Now, I don't know if I'm going to paint those out black or leave them brown. I think I want to paint them black. Chris wants to just make them all out of wood because he said there weren't any windows indoors back then. It's just too much glass. It was expensive. You know, whatever. There was. I saw it in a John Wayne movie. <laughs> Oh gosh. And then we got the top on too. Looking good. Bye, Gina. Going up the ladder. All right, so up here, I have just cut the two corners out with my circular saw. And now I'm going to go back and route this edge so that it matches. But, uh, I think I also have to shoot shoot this plywood down uh, better. Looks like Gina missed a couple screws. <laughs> I said it looks like you missed a couple scres up here. Shoddy work, man. Jeez. Um, and then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cap the top of this with some two by six. So I will uh, keep keep you. Sh Does it count? almost pitch black and I couldn't see? That's no, no excuse. Oh. That's no excuse for oh, shoddy carpenter skill. Don't tell people my mistakes. I want them to think I'm perfect. Nobody's perfect, honey. I'm sorry. Close to it? Close to it, though. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys something real quick. Christopher made this handle. He cut it out of wood. And then I was standing right next to him we were getting ready to do the stucco and everything and I saw that one of the handles to one of the floats looks kind of similar just like that and I go Chris we should have done that just taken it off and put it on there so what we did is we have to go and put handles on our general store and you guys, if you want to cut a corner, and if you have five bucks to spare, or even three dollars or whatever, so we got this at Home Depot. And it's super easy, because all you have to do is just rip the red float part off, and there's a screw under there. And then, unscrew it, unscrew it, and look at what you get. So, super easy, super quick, super cheap. And what a time saver. I'm gonna age it and it's gonna look just like that one over there. All right, so I just finished routing. So all my edges, all the way down, are good. Good to go. So now it's time to cap this thing. All right, I got the top cap all finished. That is on. Now, um, I think the next thing to do is to frame around the sign, the general store, the sign that's going to be right here. And then I can start doing the siding that goes all around it. So, And here they are finished. Ooh. Ah. So when I come over to age the door, I'll age these babies. Countersunk them so they fit in there real nice like. Oh yeah. What do you guys think? You think that was a good idea? Let's go check out Chris's one more time. His is a lot bigger over here. But I guess, you know, the sheriff's probably got big man hands. So he needs a bigger handle. <laughs> uh, yeah. I finished the frame 
that's going to go around our sign, our general store sign. And now, instead of climbing up and down the ladder, I'm going to screw a saw up here on the top and I'm just going to cut my siding up here. So let's get to it. I'm just in a talking mood this morning. I got so much to tell you guys. All right, so these are the roofing panels and we got three coats of muriatic acid on there. If you guys don't know what that is, it's in the swimming pool section. And please wear a mask if you ever endeavor this because the chemicals from it steaming up are not good, really not good. If you put it on metal and stuff, it's supposed to rust and at least it's getting aged. It's not really rusting. There's a little bit of rust spots on it, but I'm gonna do a couple more coats today. See what that does. And if it doesn't do anything by the end of today, tomorrow morning, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and miss some brown and red and stuff just to take that silver sheen off of it. And then over time, it'll rust. I guess it's nature's process. You can't always rush things. Gina's over there putting another coat of the acid on that tin roof. We're hoping to get a tin roof rusted. All right, I got most of the siding finished up here at the top. Uh, just like below, I used the fence boards, and then I ripped down some other fence boards to an inch and three quarter strips, and those go over every other seam. Um, I have a little one inch piece to fill in right here, but now I'm gonna start on the two sides. Uh, they're going all the way down to the ground level. But this is pretty much it. I'm ready for a sign, which we're still working on at the house. Pump up the spray, I'll pump it up, I'll pump it up, yo, pump it. <laughs> oh, we're stuck. <laughs> all right, guys, come over here really quick. So, I'm aging this. Whoa. A lot of people ask for aging. I want to still keep so the wood shows through. I just want to make it look older like this. So, what you want to do, what I do, is a really thin layer and you just keep going over it. So, here we go. What's in that bottle? Uh, this is kind of a brown mm -hmm. and a black and water. A brown and a black and water. Yep, and keep moving. But what's the mix ratio? Is it 50-20? Well, Basically what I do is I do about four or five, well, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. I take the dipstick, the wood ones that you get from like Home Depot or Lowe's, uh -huh. the, sp the paint stirs, and I just stick that in there and then I let it drip into the, the Hudson sprayer. And I do that with the brown about four or five times and then I do it with the black about three times. Okay. And by doing that, then I put it in here and I shake it up really good. And you just want to keep moving so you don't form any drips, but yet it's still covering the area and it kind of gives it a little second to dry on there. Like it's pretty cool. You can see where she did it on this side. It's already, how many coats is this over here? Well, it's probably like two coats, so I do need to go over it a couple more times. But it's looking, it's looking darker. And it's better to start off lighter than darker because if you still want the like wood look, Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And then once your sprayer starts to do like maybe a funky stream or something like that, just take this part off. And then what I do is I just dip it in water right here, clean this little nozzle off right there, dip it in again, screw it onto the desired stream, and then give it a couple little cranks. <laughs> Shake it up real good. A couple more pumps. <laughs> And then you go back. Ooh. Very cool. That's it. Awesome. I'm going to get back on the roof. Like a fiddler on the roof. <laughs> if I was a rich man. Da -da 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 This is the last horse tie-off we have to put in. Yay! Thank goodness. So we're going to do the nice ones again. Put it in there so it's not as rustic as the southwestern jail. But I finished aging 
downstairs. Awesome. I may do a little more aging to the door, but as far as the siding on the bottom goes, as done. Woohoo! As done. done. Does this not look like a pistachio shell to you guys? Look at that. <laughs> oh, the pistachio dirt pistachio picker upper. Chill digger. Chris did a really good job up there. Yeah, I gotta still do the sides. But. And then the sign's gonna go right there. General store. General. American tail. It got cold. It was weird. It was really hot, and then all of a sudden. I know it's the weirdest way. <laughs> I've got my scarf on and my little hat on. I'm freezing. Guess what, Chris? What? Oh. Hey, that's a little deeper. Whoa. <laughs> Put some dirt back. I'm so it's excited. Height, what? What if I make them both this? Real low? Yeah. yeah. Right. right about there. I made homemade pickles. Do you guys like pickles? I love them. It's dill, garlic, salt, vinegar, water. Crunchy cucumbers. Oh. She didn't put habaneros in it this time. No. I like those habaneros. I didn't. I wanted the regular ones. Buns. <laughs> my, bur my, my, my mouth is frozen again. Dang it. <laughs> I hate this thing. Hello, Mr. Bear. Hi, Gina. How was your day? Oh, it was just swell. I had a party with my friends all day. You did? Was it a going away party? No, it wasn't a going away party. Why would I have a going away party? Mmm. Cinnamon bear.